Good evening, and welcome to the virtual sports awards here at John F. Kennedy Memorial High School. I'd like to welcome our Mustang families, as well as those families from our sister schools in Woodbridge and Colonia, as a part of the Woodbridge Township School District Hockey Program. Tonight's ceremony is meant to recognize some athletes from our athletic programs that have received special postseason distinctions in their respective sport, as well as to honor some of our student athletes with um, sportsmanship awards and awards such as the Sportsmanship Award, our Most Improved Player, Most Valuable Player, and the coveted Mustang Award. Awards that we're very proud to bestow upon our student athletes here at JFK, as those athletes embody what we look forward to watching and celebrating with our student athletes. Events like the one that we're here to celebrate tonight remind us all that each tomorrow we share moves us closer to a future in which we can all participate in. That having been said, patience is defined as the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. It's also been said that patience is a virtue. What we as a community, a country, and citizens of a global society have endured with regard to COVID-19 has certainly challenged our patience. It's been hard to not be upset with what's come as a direct result of this pandemic. Quarantines within our athletic season, a reduction in the number of events that we've participated in, a reduction to the number of spectators and the events that spectators were able to um, celebrate with us. These are all examples that I believe have helped forge the way to a greater future. As a result of enduring this pandemic, each of our athletes sitting here tonight has gained the invaluable experience of having dealt with an opponent that extracted a toll that they were unwilling to pay, and that toll was lost. And yet each of them sitting here tonight has responded. They responded by participating. They responded by enduring. And most significantly, they responded by showing everyone that this is still possible. Athletics provide our community with a greater sense of pride because of the commitment it entails. As seniors and as student athletes, your, your commitment to yourself, your teammates, and your families have not gone unnoticed. Seniors, we are here to celebrate four years of a commitment that you have made to this school, a commitment where your participation has given us something to celebrate amidst a global pandemic. Tonight, as we celebrate this commitment, it may look different, but it's still an ideal we are proud to have been a part of at John F. Kennedy Memorial High School. Before I conclude, I would like to ask each of you, each of our athletes, whether you're attending from JFK High School or whether you're watching from one of our sister schools to make a promise. And that promise is this. When you're faced with a moment or an event in your future that challenges your patience, you respond and you respond with the same level of commitment that we are here tonight to celebrate in you. I wanna thank everyone for a very successful athletic season. I wanna thank everyone for giving us some hope in the midst of this global pandemic. I'd like to thank again, all of our seniors for your dedication to our school. Go Mustangs. What's up Mustang Nation and welcome to season two winner 2021 sports awards. Our coaches will be discussing each specific sport, which includes hockey, bowling, basketball, and cheer. They will also be announcing the four plaque winners. The plaques include most improved, goes to the athlete that has significantly improved over the past season. Sportsmanship award goes to the athlete that has exuded high standards, both in the classroom and on the playing surface. MVP award goes to the athlete that has exhibited the most value on and off the playing surface. Mustang award is all three previous awards have rolled into one. I just want to give a special shout out to our all-conference winners, Ryan Martin from the bowling team, Matt Fiore from the hockey team, and congrats to the all-division winners, Ryan Martin from bowling, Abigail Powers from bowling, Malak Mwafi from basketball, Olivia Sims from basketball, Sydney DeVoe from basketball, Michelle Patel from basketball, and Eamon Pitts from basketball. Thank you to all the athletes, families, coaches, and support personnel for making this season possible. It was not easy but watching our students compete again made everything worth it. Congrats to our season two sports and tune in to next month when we present our season two A and season three sports awards presentation, which includes winter track, swimming, wrestling, and girls volleyball. Stay safe and go Mustangs. Hello, my name is Coach Rotella and I am the Woodbridge Township Ice Hockey Coach. 
First, I would like to thank Mr. Pastorino and Mr. Rotella, as well as all the JFK administration, faculty, and staff for their ongoing support throughout the season. I would also like to congratulate the other winter sports for competing and completing a season during these challenging times. With that said, I would like to wish the spring sport programs the best of luck moving forward into their respective seasons. The ice hockey team had a great season this year, even in the midst of all the COVID protocols and the cancellations of events. The team held strong and improved upon their record last year. The ice hockey team was able to compete in 11 games and won 8 out of those 11 games. The ice hockey team earned a second spot in the GMC rankings, which was a much improved position when compared to last year. At this time, I would like to acknowledge my seniors from JFK, Richie Della Marta and Matt Fiore. Both of them played a huge part on this team and they will be missed. Matt Fiore will be sorely missed. He was and is a constant force on defense and someone who has always had something positive to say to pump his team up. Richie Della Marta improved tremendously from the year before and contributed to the scoreboard on numerous occasions helping his team to win. Also, Richie was always good for a big hit during the game. Good luck to Richie and Matt. My plaque winners for the ice hockey team are as follows. The Mustang Award winner is Matthew Fiore. Most improved player is Richie Delamar. The Sportsmanship Award goes to Abigail Carras, and the most valuable player goes to Dylan Godsell. I would like to congratulate Matt Fiore for making the GMC the first team all-conference this year, and I would also like to congratulate Dylan Godsell on receiving a GMC Honorable Mention Award this season. In conclusion, I would like to say congratulations to all my student athletes this year, and I wish all the best for the other spring sport programs this season. Hello, my name is Mr. Slaughter, and I am the JFK Bowling Coach. First, I'd like to thank Mr. Pastorino, Mr. Carrasio, Mrs. Wandris, and Mr. Rotella for giving me the opportunity to coach this fantastic program. I would also like to give a shout out and hope the season went well for swimming, boys and girls track, wrestling, girls volleyball. I want to wish the girls sports program the best of luck also. I also want to go over the seasons for boys and girls bowling team. The boys bowling team had a record this year of six and six which includes a great win over Colonia, 4-0. The girls' bowling team had a record of 4-7 with a stunning win over Woodbridge, 3-1. I would like to acknowledge my seniors, Troy Lahr and Kush M. Patel. Both of them played a huge part on the team, and they will be missed greatly. Troy was a captain for the boys' bowling team. Kush improved from bowling on the JV team to making the varsity team Good luck to Troy and Kush. I'll also like to give out my plaque winners for the boys bowling team. Uh, we're going to start off with the Mustang Award, which goes out to Troy Lahr. The most improved player, Jaden Sarmiento. Sportsmanship Award, Kush M. Patel. Most viable player, Ryan Martin. And from the girls side of things, we have the plaque winners for the girls bowling team. My Mustang Award will go out to Alexa Pino. My most improved player will be Ashley Kish. My Sportsmanship Award, Calix Slaughter. My most valuable player, Bob Abigail Powers. I would like to congratulate Ryan Martin for making all division and all conference this year. I would also like to congratulate from the girls side of things Abigail Powers for making all division. Abigail was also selected to be the GMC Winter Student Athlete for this season. I would also like to give a shout out to all the sports teams and wish them good luck for the near future. Thank you. I am Coach Murphy, the girls basketball coach at JFK. Uh, this was certainly a unique season and I want to take a moment to thank the girls, their families, and the school administration for supporting us and helping us complete our full schedule during this very difficult time. We started off the season strong, we hit a bit of a rut, but we finished with a few big wins and ultimately had a winning record for the first time in many years. Uh, I'm truly proud of the effort and determination that the girls showed throughout the season, and I really wish we could have had more time together. On behalf of Coach Smith, Coach Annan, and myself, here are our awards for 2021. 
most improved player. Our most improved player was a girl who came in as a very hard worker. Uh, she wanted to get better every day and constantly pushed herself and others to match her effort. Opposing coaches often mentioned how active this girl was and how much she changed the game while she was on the court. Her improvement throughout the season was obvious to everyone in the gym, and I can't wait to see her grow as a player. Our most improved player is Kate Figueroa. Our MVP award goes to a girl who did a little bit of everything. She was the floor general for our team and played virtually every minute for us this season. She defended each team's best player. She touched the ball more than anyone else for us offensively, and she was named to the first team for the white division. She led the conference in assists and was one of the best passers in the entire state of New Jersey. We are seriously going to miss her next year. Our MVP is Malak Malafi. Our sportsmanship award goes to a kid that has one of the best attitudes I've ever seen in a student athlete. Uh, she suffered a brutal knee injury a couple years ago, but never let that stop her from competing and pushing those around her to get better. She was a truly bright spot at practice, constantly talking and cheering on her teammates. And our sportsmanship award goes to Melissa Bilgilly. Now our Mustang. There isn't enough time to list all the qualities about this kid. She embodies everything a coach wants a student athlete to be. Watching her mature over the past three seasons and seeing her emerge as a leader has been really rewarding. Uh, this player led the team in points and rebounds. She was constantly pushing everyone to improve. She was unanimous for the first team all division. But most importantly, she's a terrific student and a leader in the JFK community. Our Mustang Award goes to Olivia Sims. Hello there, Mustangs. Coach DeVoke here for Boys Basketball. I want to thank the administration, Ms. Rotella, and Ms. Pillay doing everything possible to make this season possible. Despite it being a short season, it was eventful nonetheless. COVID quarantines impacted both the beginning and the end of our season, and we ended up with a 4-4 record. More importantly, I want to take a moment to recognize this special group of seniors, and we are going to miss them dearly and wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors. And now, for our award winners. The Sportsmanship Award goes to Calvin Claiborne. This was Calvin's first year on varsity and was asked to contribute from the get-go, which he did. When other players came back into rotation, he accepted his role and did whatever what was needed to help the team win. Next, the MIP, Most Improved Player. This award goes to Connor Heaney. Connor made a huge jump from last year, becoming a key contributor on both offense and defense, which earned him this award. The MVP award goes to Vishal Patel. Vishal also made a significant improvement over last year when he already was a key contributor. Vishal's defense and scoring made us competitive and his butter beater at Monroe is one for the history books. The Mustang Award represents all of the other awards combined. The player who earned this award has been unselfish and hardworking for over his high school career. Did never go unnoticed by the coaching staff and his teammates. He became a natural leader. Luis de los Santos is this year's Mustang Award winner. Thanks again to everyone who made this season possible. I wish all the other coaches in the other seasons the best of luck. Go Mustangs. Hi everyone, I'm Coach Zoke, the competition cheer coach. First off, I'd like to thank our administration, Mr. Pastorino, Mr. Carasio, Mrs. Wondrous, and of course Mr. Rotella for supporting us and giving us the opportunity to actually have a competition season this year. Another thank you goes to Coach P for always bringing laughter and support to the team. Lastly, I'd like to thank the families of the cheerleaders. This year, we are extremely grateful for all the support you've given us and especially grateful for the flexibility you've had over the past few months. Your support has given these kids an opportunity to continue doing what they love despite the pandemic. No season would ever be possible without you all, but especially not this season. Although our season was obviously different this year, there were so many moments that made me incredibly proud as a coach. Our competitions were virtual, meaning we had to film our routine to submit to competitions. That's not easy to do without any fans to cheer us on. However, out of four competitions, our team got first place in the first two, and then we got second and third at the last two. We're still waiting on our state's placement, so be on the lookout for that. Regardless of the placements, it was an honor to coach these athletes 
and to watch them grow as in individuals and as a team. Our season was short in comparison to previous years, but their drive allowed them to gain so many new skills and will only benefit them for the future, especially for the seniors. Our four seniors this year are Naomi Cabrera, Evelyn Crum, Nicole Paulino, and Gabriella Ron. Before we get into awards, I just want to thank them for the dedication that they've always given to our program over the past few years. It's always hard to see kids graduate, but I'm very lucky to have coached these four girls and cannot wait to see how successful they are in the future. Remember that you always have a home with JFK Cheer, no matter how, many how much time goes by. Next, I'd like to recognize our four award winners. First off is the Most Improved Award. This award is going to a cheerleader who competed for the very first time this year. Being that she never competed before, she really only knew the basics from Spirit Cheer. However, throughout the season, her skills just kept on improving because of how hard she worked and how dedicated she was to our team and to our program. Even when she felt like giving up, she kept going at every single practice. In just three months, she has skills that flyers who have been cheering for their whole lives have. There is no doubt that her commitment and her love for the sport has made her a better cheerleader, and we're so thankful she joined our team this year. The most improved award is going to Serena Khan. The second award is our Sportsmanship Award, which is going to a teammate who has made a huge impact on her team and this program, and especially her coaches. While this is only her second year competing, she stepped up in so many ways to bring her team together and help them become a family. There were a lot of tough times, just like with any other season, but she was always thinking of ways to make everyone keep on pushing and become closer as a whole. She truly made everyone feel comfortable and pushed our team to be as successful as we were. The Sportsmanship Award is going to Naomi Cabrera. Our next award is the MVP Award, or the MVC Award, which is going to the cheerleader who steps up every single day. This is actually not her first time receiving this award, but there is no one else who deserves it quite as much. Since freshman year, the improvement that she's made as a cheerleader and the dedication that she has had to our program is unlike any athlete I've seen. Coach P and I always use her as an example to show that hard work will always take you where you want to go regardless of where you're starting. She's the type of athlete that asks how to improve, who never complains, and who never gives up, gives up no matter how tired she is. That dedication will take her extremely far in life, which just proves that this sport is giving you so much more than so many people realize. The MVP award is going to Gabriella Ron. Last is the Mustang Award. Every season, this award is hard to choose because I believe all of our athletes are such great examples of respectful, hardworking student athletes. But this one athlete in particular really stepped up this year. She wasn't captain, but she was definitely a leader regardless. Many things were different this season for her, but she never let her worries stop her from doing what she loves. There have been a few injuries over the years, unfortunately, but she always pushes through and makes a comeback, which is exactly what she did this year. I have no doubt she will continue to be successful, not only in cheerleading, but in anything she chooses to do in life. The Mustang Award is going to Evelyn Crum. Once again, thank you to everyone who supports us, and thank you to the amazing athletes I've gotten the opportunity to coach this year. And congrats to all the sports on their successful seasons.